I have a character that if I dial up changes some of the proportions a little bit and so I will need to move the joint centers to get it to bend correctly. So you dial up your morph and then you go to the joint editor tool. Right click, go to edit, adjust rigging to shape. And now it's going to move these bones along with it. Alright, so after you do this you'll want to test it to make sure it's all working well. But once you're happy with your results, you will want to um, associate these bone movements with this morph. So, because right now if I dial off my morph you can see the bones stay where they are. So what you're going to do is right click, go to edit mode, and then right click on your morph, do ERC freeze. And it's going to list all the bones that were moved. And you just accept this. Now you can see the bones are moving with the morph. And then you can just save your morph and then you'll be done. Now if you ever have a need to adjust those connections, say you decide that the shoulder just isn't moving as well as you want it to, then what you need to do is you need to uh, right click on here go to show and property hierarchy. Okay, now we have that morph over here and it's selected. We'll right click, do ERC bake, and then now you can see that the morph doesn't move those again, but they're in the right position. Then you can go in here and adjust it however you need to. And then, and then you can either go to this morph here, right click and say ERC freeze, or you can go back to the property on the figure here, do ERC freeze, either one, and then accept, and now that change that we just put in there made it in, and anytime you need to adjust it again later, dial up your morph, ERC bake, move your bones around, and ERC freeze again.